Okay, welcome, welcome to another video from Linux Hint. In this video, we are going to talk about installation of Docker in our Ubuntu 18.04. So for that, let's go on to a website, which is a website called as docker.com. And on this website, we would have the complete description of how you are going to install Docker on your system. So first of all, let me explain to you that what is Docker. So Docker is a tool designed to make it easier to create, deploy and run applications by using containers. So containers allow a developer to package up an application with all of the parts it needs, such as libraries and other dependencies and ship it all out as one package. So now you are on this web page. So what you've got to do that in order to install Docker, you have to roll it down. And after scrolling down, you have to come here in the tool section in the bottom. And in the tool section, you'd see an option named as documentation. So click on that. So once you click on it, it would open it up in a next tab. In order to install Docker, you have to come down here and click on this get Docker. After that, you're going to click on Docker CE because this is the community version which is free. Docker EE is on the other hand is an enterprise version. Okay, so we're going to install Docker CE. Click on it, come down here, select your operating system. In our case, it is Linux and then select a distribution. In our case, it is Ubuntu. So we click on it and we have a specific set of instructions using which we can install this Docker on our Ubuntu system. So first of all, if you have any old version of Docker installed on your system, you can simply uninstall it by using this command. Currently, we don't have any Docker installed on our system, so we'll skip this step. So now there are three fundamental steps to install Docker on your system. So first of all, you have to set up your repository. Then you can install Docker like using this command. You can install Docker from a package and you can also install Docker by using a convenience script. So we are just going to follow this first step of installation. So first of all, we have to set up repository. So in order to set up the repository, what we have got to do that we have to run this command first. So we're going to simply copy it and we're going to come back to our terminal and we're going to paste it. Okay, so we hit enter. It asks us for the password. We put in our password. We hit enter and it starts to update it. So once it updates it, we go back to our browser where we have opened up the Docker website and we go here and now we try to install packages to allow apt to use a repository over HTTPS. Okay. So we copy this command from here and we go back to our terminal and in here we try to paste it. Once we paste it, we hit enter and you can see that it has started to install it. We press Y and it would process it. All right. So we just have to wait. So once it is completed, you have to clear it and you can come here and now you have to add Docker's official GPG key. Okay. So in order to do that, you copy this and you come back to your terminal and you simply paste it and you hit enter. You will get this OK message and then it would come out of this. So now you can go back and you can actually check, verify that if the Docker GPG official key has been added or not. So in order to check, you just have to copy this command from here. What it would do that it would take these last eight letters of the GPG key and it would verify if that has been added or not. Okay. So what we have got to do, we would copy this command and it contains the last eight letters from here. So we go back to our terminal and we would paste it. We hit enter and you can see that it has verified that the key has been successfully added. So the next step that you have got to do that you have to set up a stable repository. 
In order to set up a stable repository, just copy it from here, go back to your terminal, paste it and hit enter. And it would start working on it and we would wait until it sets up a stable repository. So once it is done, just clear it. So once it is done, just clear it. And then you can come back here and now you can install the Docker. So for that, first of all, you have to update your repository again. So come here, press paste and hit enter. So it will update your repositories. And once you have updated your repositories, now what you've got to do that you have to come here and you have to install the Docker by using this command. All right. So you copy it, you come here, you paste it and you hit enter. So now it would start to install Docker. I press Y, which means yes. And now it would definitely start to download it. And after downloading it, it would install Docker. So what we have to do is we have to wait. So once the installation has been completed, you can basically clear it. You can come down here. Um, if you want to install a one specific version of Docker, then you can use this information from here. But we don't want to do that. We want to have the latest version. So we already have installed it. So now in order to check that if the Docker is installed correctly, you can actually run this hello world image and you can check okay so you come here you paste it you hit enter and you can see that it says unable to find image hello world latest locally so now you can see that it has downloaded the hello world docker image so first of all it said locally it is not available unable to find so it has basically pulled it up from the library hello world okay so once it has pulled it now you can see that it says hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly okay so now we can see that our docker has been installed correctly and we have pulled the image hello world as well if you want to check that which version of docker is installed on your system currently then you can do that by using a very simple command you just have to clear it you have to write here sudo docker hyphen v you hit enter and you can see that the current docker version is 18.09.6 this is the current docker version installed on our ubuntu system furthermore if you want to check that which images have been pulled and we have used docker to pull those images you can do that by writing here sudo and then docker and then ps and then negative a or hyphen a you hit enter and you can see that two minutes ago we have pulled hello world image all right so i hope you have got the point you have learned something new from this tutorial if you have any questions regarding this ask us in the comments below if you want to read articles informative articles on linux visit our website linuxin.com and i will see you in the next video